All right, guys, welcome back for another replica gun reviews. It's really good to be back with the review now that I got CO2 again. Um, so today I have with me the Umarex HK Elite Force USP. Um, it's the non blowback version of the HK USP. Um, it's uh, $59.99 on Amazon, and for some reason, it's $10 cheaper on Umarex.com. It's $49.21, so it's not that bad either way on Amazon or Umarex. Um, it's a pretty cool gun, as you can see. Um, it looks really nice. Um, I love this red HK branding that it has on it. Um, it has it on the other side, too, right there. It says HK USP, actually. Um, and as you can see, the grip has this really nice texture. I love that texture. It looks really nice. Um, on this side, it says made in Taiwan. You have HK, um, the warning, uh, licensed trademark of Heckler and Koch. Um, and then on this side, you have the HK USP logo, uh, caliber 0.177, 4.5 millimeter. And then, uh, that's it. Uh, oh, that, oh yeah, underneath you have your serial number right here. And then uh, for some reason under the trigger guard it says warning refer to owner's manual. Uh, I don't know why that says that, but um, I've never looked into it. But uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments, I guess. Um, but yeah, this gun is kind of cool. I, I just got it the other day, and if you've been keeping up with my channel, you know that I literally just got CO2. I got this before the CO2, so I've only used this once so far, um, and it wasn't that bad of an experience. It was pretty cool. There was like basically no kick at all. Um, it was really smooth shooting, um, and I had a lot of fun with it. Um, the hammer on this thing is useless. Um, it just flops, like you can see. Um, there's no CO2 in this. Um, so the safety right here, as you can see, is nicely marked. Um, you have the red F for fire, which it's on right now because the white line is lined up with it. And then if you flip this up, now you're on safe. Um, so when you pull the trigger, it comes to a stop. Um, when you're on fire, you can see the hammer move. Um, but it doesn't really do anything. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like an internal, that little hammer right there, that's what's moving when I'm pulling the trigger, and it seems to push this back for some reason. Maybe just for effect, I don't really know. Um, but either way, it shoots great, um, and it feels great. It weighs 1.68 pounds, um, and I don't know if you could tell in the video, but it has an overall length of 10.8 inches, so... It's pretty good in your hand. Um, again, I have pretty big hands, so uh, I don't know if you could tell by this. Um, but it's a uh, pretty decent size. It's not bad. Um, so, by the way, this right here, this, uh, I guess, would have been the slide catch. It looks like it moves, but it doesn't at all. It's just molded on. Um, the only thing that moves on this thing is the safety right here. Uh, this little floppy hammer. Um, and then you have actually an ambidextric safety, so, I mean mag release, pardon me. And then you have a 22 round drop free mag. Not a stick mag, but actually a mag. Um, the whole thing is polymer, um, unfortunately, but it does seem pretty solid. It feels good. Um, nothing seems, uh, you know, pretty cheap about it. It feels good. Um, the magazine does feel a little bit cheap, but it works fine. Um, and then it also comes with, uh, I don't know, this is the first gun I've got that actually came with one, but it comes with a speed loader, which is awesome. Um, so I'll show you how to use that later. Um, so the magazine, again, has an ambidextric safety. So whether you're a righty or a lefty, um, you can use the safe, uh, the mag release. Pardon me, I keep saying safety. But um, if you're a righty, you can use it. Um, and if you're a lefty, you can use it. So... That's pretty cool. Uh, the magazine itself only stores one CO2 cartridge. Uh, the gun comes with its own Allen key. Um, so you just uh, tighten this up. You just unscrew this rather. And then you stick a CO2 cartridge in. Whoops. And then you just tighten this back up uh, to load CO2, which I'll do in a little bit for you. 
Let me just put this back in, guys. Um, Alright, that's enough for now. The only thing that sucks about this magazine is, um, unfortunately, the spring here that you have to pull down doesn't lock into place, so you have to hold it. So, using the speed loader is kind of awkward because, um, I'll show you. First of all, see, it just has a bigger hole. Um, it just fits on like that. But, unfortunately, you have to hold the spring down like that, put the speed loader on, um, and then load your BBs in. And it's obviously going to be easier if you have a bottle like this so that you can pour them in. Um, it does take steel BBs, so you can use steel BBs. Um, but I'm going to pour these over a tray in a second. I'm not going to load it right now, but I just wanted to show you how you would do it. Um, so yeah, you just pour them in like that. It takes 22 rounds again. Um, but before I get into that, I'm going to load some CO2 into this for you guys. Um, oh, by the way, guys, I almost forgot to tell you. Um, it shoots at a max rate of 400 feet per second. So not bad. Um, that's pretty average, 400 feet per second. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to do some penetration testing later. Um, because I only shot it once and I didn't do any yet. So uh, it'll be new for me too. So... Anyways, guys, um, to load some CO2 into this, you just take the Allen key that comes with it. Um, you just unscrew this part right here. Um, take this off. Um, I know other people prefer other oils, um, but Pelican oil has always worked for me. So I would suggest getting it or finding an oil that works for you, but definitely use an oil on your CO2 cartridges um, but you just put one drop like that and then you just take the magazine and then you just put it in upside down put this uh, as you can see it says open and close that part should be facing you um, and then you just screw that back in um, the first time I tightened this thing up, when I got it and tested it out, I didn't get much CO2 loss at all. So let me just turn this. Yeah, none at all. I barely heard anything. Um, so yeah, so now that you have your CO2 in, um, we're going to attempt to use this speed loader. I used it once, um, so I hope I don't spill everything everywhere. Um, let me just get this tray that I have here, just in case some BBs come out. Um, because I don't want them going all over the place. Uh, my cats love to play with them. And I'll end up losing a ton. So alright, I'm going to need to do this with this hand. Put this on. Wait, i got to hold this the other way. you got to hold it with your thumb. It's easiest. Put that on like that. And then just uh, load them in. Actually, you can see them going in. Uh, they were going in smoothly. I don't know what just happened. But you know what? I think I'm just going to load them up, guys. Uh, normally, I'm not even going to use a speed loader right now. So I'm just going to take some of my hand like that. Uh, the speed loader is a pain only because the spring doesn't lock. So you have to hold it down. And the speed loader reaches down to your finger. So it's pressing on your finger and doesn't want to go down all the way. So it kind of makes no sense to me. Um, so yeah, just hold it down with your thumb since the speed loader doesn't want to work correctly. And then you just simply have to load 22 BBs. Um, I won't make you watch me load all 22, but um, here I'll load a few for you. So you just load them like this. So you put one and you can see them drop down. Two. Three. One eternity later. Alright, so 21, 22 guys, and that is it for that. So as you can see, it's full. Um, when it's full, you should see all the BBs all the way to the top. So once you're in, uh, make sure you're on safe. Uh, so again, as you can see, I'm in fire, so you can fire this. Um, so put it in safety or make... Oh! There you go. Now put it in safety. Make sure you can't fire. Um, and then you just pop your CO2 in. Your uh, magazine. Let me just put this to the side. 
put these BBs away. I'll have to put all those away in a little bit. Um, and when you're ready to fire, since this is not blowback, you just take it off safety and you just let them go. You don't have to rack the slide or pull the hammer back because it doesn't do anything anyway. Um, and that's it. So, all right, guys. So I'm going to set up some penetration testing and uh, I'm going to definitely do some accuracy testing. Uh, I may do two. Um, and then I'll be back with you guys at the end of the review uh, just to give you some more thoughts on it. Uh, but go check out my last video. It's called Ashura. Um, I just put it out just now um, uh, right before I started recording this. But um, anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next review. Um, and I can't wait to get to it, by the way. I hope you enjoy it. But uh, I hope you have a good night and peace. Alright guys, so uh, once again, since there's no blowback, um, I have all 22 rounds loaded up and I'm just going to fire into my pellet trap, so uh, let me take this thing off safety and then uh, I'm just going to let all of them go. Alright guys, and that's it. That was all 22 rounds. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. Um, since I have that first 22 shots loaded up, I figured I'd do some accuracy testing and some grouping. Um, so I'm going to step back about 5 feet. and uh, Actually, what am I talking about? 8 feet. Uh, and uh, let's see what we can do. So let me take this thing off safety. Back up here. Alright. Uh, this is more about nine, nine, ten feet here, so I'm um, gonna move up just a slight bit. So now I'm about eight feet away, maybe still nine, um, and see what we can do here. Oh, that was way off. I'm aiming right at that circle and they're going all over the place. Lady, relax, you girl. Oh, there we go. I finally got one close to the center. Another one. I don't know why they come bouncing back out of the BB trap. Alright guys, that's it. Um, that was all 22 rounds. Those last two were dry shots. Um, I was aiming dead center at this circle, or at least I thought, and uh, as you can see, most of them ended up up here. Um, these last few that I let off, I didn't even aim. I was just judging by the position of my hand just to see if it would do better. Um, but as usual, you guys be the judge. Um, I'm going to load this thing up with another 22 rounds, and then I'm going to come right back, and uh, we'll do some more testing. Let me just get this in there and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I got another 22 rounds loaded up. Um, I'm going to move back about 5-6 feet this time and uh, see what I can do. So let me back up. i um, already off safe. So here I am. Uh, about 5-6 feet away. And let me see what I can do this time. Um, let me see. I am very lined with that circle. Oh, my finger, my hand twitched that time totally.
dead center. I think I'm out, guys. Yeah, I'm out. So those last two were dry shots. Um, uh, I think I actually did pretty good. Um, from about five, six feet away, actually, that was way better. Um, as you can see, these two were just test shots. I just couldn't. Uh, I lost track. I didn't remember how many shots I had left. Um, but as you can see, I really tore up that center mass. So uh, that's pretty awesome compared to this one. This one, I was aiming at the white circle. Um. With this card, I ducked down a little bit uh, lower, so I think that I was going down at a bit of an angle for this one. I'm sorry, I thought I had you on camera. Um, but as you can see, uh, I was more level, I think, with this one, so I did a lot better, and I was a little bit closer. This one, um, I was aiming at that circle, just like here, um, but they were all going here, so I think I might have not been level. Um, but again, you guys be the judge. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, so I'm going to go set up for some penetration testing now. Alright guys, so I have the first 22 rounds loaded up. And I really just want to mess this screen up. I want to see what we could do to this screen. It seems like nothing has been making it past this white barrier right there. But I want to see if we could change that. Let me zoom in a little bit. By the way, guys, if you could, if you hear a little bit of sound in the background, uh, my girlfriend's making a bagel and cream cheese, so pardon me. Uh, but yeah, I want to see what we could do to this screen. So 22 shots to do quite a number on this screen. So I'm gonna back up about eight feet and just unload. Um, I bet you a lot are gonna ricochet, so I'll probably have a ton of BBs to, to clean up. But uh, let's see what happens. All right. Here we go with the HK USB. Take it off safety. And here we go with the first shot. I'm going to aim first for the bottom right corner where it's cleanest. Lady's going to make sound too, as usual, guy. by the way, guys. Mine E, I think I'm on empty. Yeah, those are dry shots. Alright guys, so those last few shots were dry. Um I definitely tore it up a little more, but it seems to just be like uh it reminds me of flypaper. It's just like the BBs are just like flies getting stuck to the flypaper. Um it's kinda ridiculous. This is some strong glass. But um I don't know, we'll see what we can do. Um, one day I'm going to definitely go full auto. I'm going to use the DPMS on this thing. So um, anyways guys, let me clean up that mess and then I'll be right back with you. Hey guys, sorry. Uh, look, I just was about to clean this up and I just wanted to show you real quick. But uh, the outer chassis of this thing is like literally coming off. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Look, you can see the inside of the computer almost. So we're definitely doing some damage to this thing. Um... But yeah, let me clean up and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so listen, um, I have another 22 shots loaded and as I was saying, I was going to put this laptop away, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to flip it around and see what happens if I shoot the back side. Now, given how the front side reacts when it's shot, I have the feeling it's going to ricochet, so I'm just going to try one or two shots at first. If they don't ricochet, then I'll do some more. Um... I also wanted to save some shots for the keyboard area, so I'm going to try to flip this around and hit the keyboard area as well. So I'm going to back up about 8 feet and just unload a shot or two. Alright guys, here I am. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to aim for right around where that sticker is. Oh yeah, exactly. Ricochet right back and it's rolling hit me. Um 
Where did it hit? I believe that's it right there. I'm not sure. Let me try point blank. Uh, same thing. I have to look, but I think I just dented it actually. Uh, I'm going to shoot the same spot. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera well. Let me try to see. Oh, yeah, you can see. It actually did break the plastic, so it's pushed in a little. Um, so I'm going to shoot that same spot and just see what happens. Let me just make sure I get like it perfectly aligned. Oh, look at that. Finally broke it. Um, so that looks to be the backside of the white barrier that we're seeing. Sorry, guys. Um, on this side, this white barrier here, um, there seems to be something very hard in between all this, but uh, we definitely broke through that. Um, let me try some more. I'm unloading I'm literally all to the same spot. Alright, I think I'm on E now. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I don't know exactly how many rounds were blank, um, because it sounds exactly the same as when it's not. Um, but this thing is full of smoke. I don't know if that's going to be shown on camera, but there's like a ton of dust anyway in here. I don't know if that's smoke, but... As you can see, once we broke this once, it definitely just chipped away very easily. Um, pieces of it just came out. Let me try to zoom in just a little so you can see better. And then we stop shaking. And then try to focus better. There we go. Um, this right here went totally in. I don't know how many shots exactly weren't blank. Um, but I want to see what happened on the other side. So I'm going to try to flip this very delicately so I don't shake the camera too much. Um, pardon me, guys, if I am. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I can't tell at all. Um, it would have been in the center. So I don't think it... Yeah, it would have been... Let me see. It would have been right about here. So I'm not sure if this damage... Maybe from that, but I'm not sure. I'm sure if we keep going at it, we'll find out. But, um, anyways, guys, yeah, let me clean this up, and uh, I'll save it for another video. Uh, I'll try it with a different gun, um, and I'll be right back with the next thing. All right, guys, um, so what you're looking at here is my pellet trap turned around and a nickel taped to it, so... I don't know why, but I, it just popped into my head, but the idea to shoot a nickel. I want to see what I can do to a nickel. Um, I'm going to stand back about six feet. Um, I'm going to do this from a rested position so my hands are steady, so I have something set up with a pillow to rest my hands on while I shoot. I hope that I can hit it. I hope my aim's not that terrible. But I got really curious. Uh, pardon if it's a little bit out of focus. I had to zoom all the way in um, so that you, well, I didn't have to, but I wanted you to see it as close as possible. So um, I'm going to back up and uh, get ready and uh, let this go and see what happens. Hopefully, I hit it and don't embarrass the hell out of myself. <laughs> but uh, let's see, guys. Um, all right, safety off. Let me just uh, get a good aim on it and see if I hit it. Did I hit it? I'll have to look at the footage again. Um, I was aiming right at it, but I think I might have hit right there. I'm going to keep trying. I got 22 rounds loaded up, so... I'm pretty sure I'll be able to tell if I hit it by uh, seeing a dent or something in it. Oh wow, I think I definitely hit that one because it came right up back and hit me. Oh no, I didn't. I hit right there. Alright, so 
me aim a little bit lower. Uh, let me see. I cannot hit this nickel. If I can hit it after a couple more tries, I'll move up. Um, I don't know where that one hit. I'm gonna move up a little bit. Alright, so now I'm about five feet away from this thing. Definitely hit the nickel that time. Um, even flew the nickel off. Well, let me tape that back on. Actually, let me show you guys. Um, certainly dented it. Um, as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna keep going at it though. See what happens. Uh, I wish I had a better way. I should have glued this thing and just waited. I'm gonna try one point blank and see how deep I can get it if if the BB lodges in in the first place. Alright, so point blank, I have to hold it sideways. Alright, so it definitely didn't lodge in, but as you can see, it certainly made a nice little dent in it. Um, so I'm going to try to hit that again. Uh, see what happens. Probably the only nickel in the world that's been shot by a BB gun. And it's right here, folks. $10 million. Alright, definitely hit it again. Uh, where the hell did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Oh, I gotta show you guys this. This is why I wanted to keep shooting it because, uh, oh, sorry. Let me zoom out a little. Um, as you can see, it dented quite nicely. Um, and then even the back is starting to push out. So I'm going to keep hitting this just a couple more times. I'm going to do a couple point blank. Uh, that one looks like it was the one right there. I don't think the backside will make much of a difference since it's already poofing out. No, I'm trying to see if I can get a hole in this thing. I'm using copper BBs, by the way, guys. Um, I don't think I mentioned that. Um, I loaded it up with steel BBs originally, but I switched to copper today. Um, so I'm using copper right now. Um, but as you can see, this nickel is pretty hit. I kind of like it. It looks kind of cool. I'm going to keep shooting it a couple more times. Oh, that one was good, see? Let's see if I get... I'm trying to hit it in the same spot, which I know is probably like getting struck by lightning, but... Um, let's see. Nope. Let me get, uh... I'm gonna try to shoot him right in the head. I know I should know this, but who's on a nickel? Jefferson? Do this like once or twice more, and then that's it for the nickel. Oh, I wish I had like a way to just keep blasting at this thing without it uh, falling over, but I doubt that's gonna happen.
By the way, guys, don't try this at home without protective glasses. Uh, because these things are ricocheting and you want to protect your eyes. I'm just trying to see what I can do here. You know, give up in a sec. I don't think I'm going to get anything through that. It might take me a really long time to shoot through this nickel. But um, as you can see, let um, me just put this on safety. Um, the nickel is really tore up. <laughs> on this side and then on this side as well so there you go guys the only nickel in the world that's been hit by a BB gun um so at about six feet I was able to hit it um from ten feet away I was having a bit of difficulties uh, it might take me a little more practice but yeah guys it's pretty cool um I wonder about a penny um let me try a penny let me grab a penny real quick Alright, let's see what happens to the penny. Oh, I hit it. That was an edge shot. Alright. Alright, that was definitely a uh, point blank head. I hit him right in the top of the head. Um, look at that. The glare, the light on the the metal is hard, making it hard to see. But you can see there's his head shot, and then the edge shot, and in the back, you can see the damage that was done. It was pushed out. This might actually end up making a hole through it if I keep shooting. Um, what do you guys think? You think I should keep shooting this? Uh, I think I might try another shot or two. One, one or two more shots. You know, I don't think I'm gonna end up penetrating this thing at all, but it's worth this try. Uh, I got curious to see um, just how tough the metal on these were. Um, and as you can see, um, if you have a bunch of coins on you and someone hits you with a BB gun, you'll be good. Um, the penny got more damaged, I mean, more bumped out, and I, I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but now it's all crooked, it's not straight anymore. <laughs> it started to fold in on itself. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the nickel, that's the penny, and that's the nickel. The nickel uh, looks like it might have started buckling, um, but it's just all messed up. So yeah, guys, let me clean this mess up, and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty guys, so um, so I figured for the winter season, I'd go outside and grab a nice piece of ice. Lady, relax. Um, and as you can see, it's not too thick, um, but I wanted to do this before it melts. I had it in my freezer, so I wanted to see what happens when I shoot it. So I got a fresh CO2 cartridge, uh, 22 rounds in it. Um, I still have my hand rest up, so... Um, I'm going to shoot one or two shots into it, see what happens. I have the feeling the BBs are just going to get lodged into it, and then eventually the ice is just going to break into pieces. But uh, let's see what happens. So I'll be about eight feet away at first, and then uh, maybe I'll move up point blank, see if I can get something fully through it. But all right, guys, let me back up, take this up safety. And uh, here we go with the first shot. Let me just get rested. All right, here we go, guys. Oh wow, broke the ice right off the bat.
that's it. Uh, damn. Oh, I did not expect it to break up like right off the bat. Um, but I gotta clean this up really quick before it melts. And uh, but uh, yeah, I can't even show you any results. Oh, except for that one. Look at that. That BB. When uh, the icy side was in the back, this side, the shiny part. So it went quite deep into the ice. Uh, not that deep actually, but you know, it actually gives you a good uh, idea of how deep it went into the ice. So at point blank, I'm pretty sure I could have got something fully through this. Um, or it just would have exploded the whole piece. Um, but yeah guys, that's the ice. Um, and that's what happens when you shoot ice, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, so I figured since that last piece of ice that I shot was literally just a chunk that I ripped out of the ground from outside, that I would try ice cubes that are made in our own freezers um, and see if there's any difference. Now I hope these are frozen enough. Uh, I put these in not too long ago. Um, actually they're already starting to melt so uh, let me just stand back. I'm going to empty a couple rounds into this and see what happens. I'm just curious to see if they explode like the ice from outside. So I'm going to back up and uh, let one or two go. Alright guys, here we go. Oh, that came back hard. Alright, so the first two shots definitely didn't uh, break the ice. I uh, hope that you can still see. I think I might have blew it with that last shot. Uh, we might have caught a BB inside. Uh, I'll have to look at the footage over again. Maybe put it in slow mo. Um, I'll try one ice cube to see if I could do it standing up and uh, see what happens. I'll take it off safety. Okay. So yeah, that just exploded everywhere. Um, so, same thing. Huh. I don't know why I expected any different, but I don't know. I figured maybe the shape, I don't know, the consistency, I don't know. But as you can see, it's the same thing. So yeah, ice just explodes. Um, I'll have to check that first couple shots though. So let me uh, clean this ice up real quick before it melts, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I got another 22 rounds loaded up and I whipped out the LG Stylo 3. Now I laid it horizontally so that it would stay standing and I'm just going to unload 22 rounds right into this thing and see what happens. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we know what's going to happen, but let's see. Alright, so I'm back about 8 feet here at a resting position again. Off safety, ladies boofing in the background. It's alright. Alright, here we go, guys. I'm just gonna unload right into this thing, all 22. Unless it falls over. Yep, first shot fell over. Alright, guys, here we go. I got 21 shots left. So at least it would stood. As you can see. Oh damn man. It tore a hole right through it for sure. Look at that. This this one, the LG Stylo has like this uh tin layer. I don't know what that is, uh but the uh GS5 didn't have that, so I'm not sure what that is. Um but yeah, I'm gonna turn around this way and try to aim for the camera area. I was aiming dead at the eye or the uh, camera and it looks like I hit it right there as you can see um, the second shot oh wait alright so check it out so there's the first shot there's the second shot made a hole right through so I'm gonna try to tilt it this way maybe it'll stand better
Alright, couldn't take any more, but guys, check this out. I'll put it in slow-mo, but, uh, looks like the camera or part of it, uh, went flying right off. How many shots do I have left? I have, oh, it looks like one shot left, actually, so, let's do that point blank. I have one shot left. I'm gonna put it right in there. Alright, so, what that shot did, that point blank, did was that second one up right there. The second one closest to this camera, it hit. Let me zoom out for you guys because I had zoomed in and changed the camera position. Um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, this second shot right here was the point blank one. Um, I took off the camera. Uh, we made quite a significant hole. You can't tell because of all this weird, uh, I don't know what material this is, but if you lift that up, there's nothing but a hole. This whole area looks like a heart, <laughs> almost. Um, the front side is tore up too, pretty bad. Um, once again, like look at all these layers. This one seems to have way more layers than uh, the uh, Galaxy S5. You got one layer, then you have, uh, you got the second layer right there, which is really two layers stuck together. Then you got one thin layer right here of this uh, cellophane looking stuff, this like tin, and then this thin layer, and then you have this, I don't know what that is, and then you got the plastic inside, uh, so it's quite a bit, um, but yeah, <laughs> pretty sure uh, if I plug this in I'd probably short my house out or this thing would catch fire. Um, so I'm not going to do that, but um, yeah, damn, we messed that up. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, let me clean this mess up, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, so for the last uh, penetration test, I figured I'd use this PSP. So far, this PSP has been extremely tough with everything I've won at it. The glass is extremely durable, as you can see. Uh, nothing has fully penetrated this thing um so i'm gonna try to give it some shots in the back here and just see if there's any difference um so i'll let a couple go at first and see what happens um i'm using this pillow because it helps stand them up a lot better so uh let me back up and see what happens here we go with the first shot i'm gonna go right for the psp logo Alright, that looks like it might actually... Oh wow, what? it definitely went in. That's because it's empty behind this battery pack. If you look, um, it made a hole. I didn't even think of that. Um, and there it is, the BB. It just fell right out. Um, let me zoom out for you. Uh, so it made a hole. I found a BB which is resting in there. Um, and I can't tell what kind of damage was done beyond that. Um, but there's definitely a dent, um, and this is, oh, there we go, I thought it shut properly again. But yeah, I'm going to keep going at that and see what happens. Huh? Alright, it tipped over, um, oh wow, and it knocked. Side actually off where the battery goes. Um, so one actually I think got stuck or sounded like it got stuck. It's probably in here. Once again, let me show you. They should just be right in here, just rested. Yep. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> and then they just fall out uh, with a bunch of other crap. Um, let me try a couple from the front and see what happens. I have 13 shots left. tips from the front so you know what I'm gonna hit it from the back I'm gonna keep going from the back now I have uh, 11 shots left all right so I have three shots left and 
As you can see, we're tearing up the inside of this thing like crazy. Let me show you the inside of this. Um, oh, wow, now you can see stuff damaged. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going to shoot at this area. I have three shots left, so I'm just going to do point blank. You know not how I do. I always do point blank shots. What happened? Alright, it just dented it extremely bad. As you can see right there. Um, let me go. Last two shots. That's it, I think. Yeah, that was it. So, I'm on E. The last two shots. We're right there. Um, let me zoom out again so you can see. Um, there's the BBs inside. I don't know if you can see them. There you go. Where's one, two? Uh, yeah, this PSP is hit. Um, I'm not gonna rip that back cover off. I'm gonna try to shoot it off eventually. So I'm gonna actually preserve it so I can actually see the damage. Um, but this glass, man, on this PSP, it is strong as hell, man. I have to say, this is ridiculous. Um, you know what, I'm going to load one shot into the HK and I'll be right back with you. I'm going to try one point blank, maybe like right in the center right there and just see what happens. I'll be right back guys. Alright guys, so I am back. I got one shot loaded. Again, I'm going to shoot right there, point blank range and see what happens. Because um, so far, like I said, this PSP glass seems impenetrable. It's ridiculous. So uh, let's see what happens here. Alright, so, once again, same thing, it was that shot right there where my thumb is, um, this outer layer is super tough, man, I'll get through it eventually, but it did blow the back off, like it pushed, this was shut and it pushed it off, so, um, there was definitely a lot of force behind that, uh, but, as you can see, still nothing made it through this first layer, this first layer is ridiculous, um, I gotta start aiming for spots where I already penetrated that first layer. I chipped it at least, so like in the middle of these circles. So uh, maybe in another review. But yeah, guys. So uh, I think that's it for the penetration testing. So uh, I'll see you at the end of the review. I just gotta clean this up, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So that was the Umarex Elite Force HK USP. Um, definitely tell me what you thought in the comments. Um, I thought that was a pretty awesome penetration testing. Um, I really like this thing a lot. Um, there's really no kick at all. Um, it's pretty easy to aim with. Um, I didn't have much t uh, trouble hitting that nickel from around six feet away. From 10 feet away, I probably would have got it if I gave it a mo few more tries. But um, anyways, guys, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. Um, this is, again, the uh, speed loader that comes with it that I failed with. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'm going to do the Umarex, uh BB TAC with the XBG inside of it next. So... Um, I'm going to get to working on that and editing this, and uh, I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a great night, and peace.